we've had a we've had a great start to the season. Um, we've we've done particularly well so far. Um, obviously, it's very early days. Still, fourteen games into the season, toward the table um, as it currently stands. So, uh, very pleased with the start we've had. Very pleased with how, how the players, uh, a lot of the young players, come into the club, new to the club, new to the league. How they've been able to adapt. Um, you know, and, and obviously we've got a core group of experienced players that have been able to integrate those young boys into the squad, which um, has been very good, how they've gelled and how quickly we've been able to, to I suppose, hit the ground running. And, um, you know, hopefully we can maintain that uh, positivity around the club and, the, and how the team are doing, um, you know, and extend it, um, you know, consistently over, over the remainder of the season. Um, well, our, our, I suppose we, we've got some good players, you know, we had the, the, the bulk of, um, you know, a, a large percentage of the squad that were with us last year um, we were able to retain the services of those players for this current season. So um, obviously integrating new players, getting a lot of no young players um, that have pedigree from, 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 from British clubs, English clubs coming back to, to, the, to, to Ireland to play in the League of Ireland. Um, continuity in terms of the coaching staff, con continuity um, in terms of, like I say, the, the players that we have at the club, um, you know, was 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 key to, to obviously the boys coming in and integrating uh, to to the to the, to the team and how, how they performed really is testament to the players and their attitude, their application, and um, you know we're really pleased how things have gone so far. Um, you know, like I said, our, our, our principles are the same, you know, our, our values are the same and um, we, we try and instil that in our players. Um, you know, and the young players have come in and we've been able to shape them quite quickly and you know, some of the performances so far have been outstanding. And it was Danny Grant who reacted quickest to the ball rebounding off the post. And that ensured the three points. It finished Bohemian 3, UCD nil. Bows regaining second spot in the table. The, the recruitment has in particular been really impressive, like I say, a number of players coming back from the UK. It, it's been a case sometimes in the SSE or Trust League that players come back from the UK and they struggle to adapt to Irish football again. How have you been able to decipher players from certain players from players who will do well when they come back to the players who might struggle? Well, we made a conscious decision to, to in the off season to recruit players that had pedigree, that had uh, you know good schoolboy careers, play for their country at underage level, um, gone away to um, English clubs. Um, for whatever reason, they haven't quite made it. They they find them, themselves on the way back, and I think Bowes have, have 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 shown young players that there is opportunity here if they're good enough to, to come and play in senior football, um, which gives them. You know, different experiences, different exposures. Um, you know, but ultimately, uh, you know, the players have pedigree, they have talent, and um, we give them the license to go and do that on a on a Friday night here. And uh, it's pleasing to see some of the performances and how well they've they've adapted. Um, a lot of those players have played under twenty three football. Uh, with very little accountability really in terms of performances and results and you know uh, the ownership is on the players when they play here at this club in front of a, you know full houses every week um, you know to go and deliver and uh, thankfully they've been able to do that but they've, they've shown us what good players they are their, their application has been really good they've bought into the philosophy of, 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 of the club in terms of the ethos and how, how, how we how we do things here and uh, fundamental to that is 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 our industry is our effort and and uh, once the players give us that um, you know I think you can see it in, in in performances what rewards are there. Does it does it help like that many of these players coming back from the UK still know each other very well from the international setups and from the school club as well they already have that connection there? Yeah yeah a lot of the a lot of the boys have obviously had um, experiences together at underage level and they, they know each other be it or be it that they've played maybe at different age groups some of them um, you, you know, listen, you're taking a bit of a gamble. It's a bit of a chance that you take when with young players. Uh, but thankfully, it's 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 
paid off so far. By no means are we the finished uh, uh, article. Um, we've got lots of work to do. We've got um, lots of learnings, and you know we're going to have plenty of highs and lows this season. I'm sure as it progresses, we're still early days, 14 games into the season. Yeah, there's another two, 22 games left to play. So, um, you know, we're pleased with how things have gone so far. Delighted with some of the performances. Delighted with some of the players, how they've adapted to senior football in this country. Um, and uh, you know, long may it continue. Long may it, uh, we move forward together. The progression of the club. Um, off the field has been really good. The identity between the supporters and players is really good. That positivity around Daily Mount, you know, like I said, having full full houses where we're, we're embedded in the community here in Fisborough, and and that's you know shown. It's uh, we're getting our rewards now for all the hard work that's been done at board level, at volunteer level. You know, our guys in the community that are um, you know doing doing fantastic work to ensure that people come through on a Friday night and enjoy the experience that, that is here at Daily Mount. I mean, to help that identity as well, it helps that some of your own from the underage structures are coming through to the first team at the moment as well. It's not those players, just those players coming across from England. That underage structure has obviously had fantastic success over recent seasons, getting into the UAP Youth League, winning the double last year. It, 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 it's, how, how have you been able to build such a, an identity throughout that underage structure? Um, well, recruitment is, is, is hugely important. Um, Obviously, you have to get good players into your, into your system. We've been able to do that, um, um, but but in a, in tandem, we've been able to compete. We've been able to, like you said, the under 19s won the double last year. They won the league the year before. Our under 17s are competing at the higher level, uh, end of the table consistently. Um, 15s and 13s now, you know, do, doing well. Um, we've been able to to. You know the fact that the first team in nineteen is trained side by side. Um, there is that level of understanding. We can integrate the players if we need to into into first team training, so that when they come up, um, you know they're up to speed, that they're ready to play. You know we've been able to bring, uh, we've been able to like I say, win and develop at the same time in tandem, which is not always um, the the case. We've been able to bring lots of players through from our nineteen structure into the first team, which has been fantastic. You know, uh, Patrick Kirk has captained our under 19s. He's now a first team player. Um, Andy Lyons has captained our under 19s. Is playing with the Irish 19s. Um, was in the home base under 21 squad that Stephen Kenny recently put together. Um, and he will play in Armenia in, in the summer uh, uh, along with Ali Rag. But they've all come from our 19s. Ryan Graydon progressed from from our 19s, having had three years at the club. So they have a they have an idea or an identity, and they have an understanding of what's required to be a Bohemians player. So you know we've been lucky enough that we've been able to recruit well, integrate the players into our system, uh, give them firm values and beliefs, and uh, we're we're able to see that translate to good performances and then progressing into the first team. It, it shows the quality of, the, in particular, your underage um, structure, but also you know across the SC. When you competed in the youth league last season, it was against Midland. Midland, you only suffered a narrow defeat, and now they've gone on to beat Manchester United and Midland. You're very close to that. It shows that there is the, the quality here in Ireland, and the infrastructure is starting to come. Yeah, uh, listen, there's no doubt that the underage structures. It's definitely been a step in the right direction. Um, uh, it's not perfect um, by any means, but y you know, we 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 do have. Uh, players playing against the best you know the best players in the country playing against the best in um, you know good coaching with, with good facilities um, obviously the facility side of things can improve and we need to we need to do that clubs need to do that and we need to get get our houses in order and, and uh, you know to make to raise the standards across all levels um, you know, but like you said, our, our boys last year competed well in the UA for Youth League. Um, narrow, narrow defeat to Midland, who who've gone on to, to do well and have success in the tournament. So, um, hopefully, we can compete again this year in the UA for Youth League. Um, and uh, you know that it would be an opportunity for another group of players to come through and maybe stamp their mark and show the quality that they have. So, we do have talented boys in this country. We do have good young players in this country. You know, and um, you know we can't forget that. Um, you know that we've got huge participation numbers up and down the country. It's probably the most played sport in, in the in the country, and um, you, you know we've got to we've got to ensure that the players uh, develop and and hopefully achieve success in tandem. Like I said, it's not always about winning. It's not always about silverware at underage level, but we've got to show them that there is. 
you know, an industry here. We've got to show them that there are uh, routes to professional football here in this country. You know, they might, um, from an education point of view, be able to stay longer um, in, in, in Ireland. You know, and if they were to go away, maybe to, to the UK or Scotland or wherever it might be at a later stage, they're probably a little bit more mature, a little bit more able to handle, you know, being away from home and, and, and you know, life in general. So um, I think the... the I think it's it's really positive a lot of the stuff that's been happening at underage level but you know we can't be complacent in any way shape or form we've got to uh, you know all the clubs um, have a responsibility to raise the standards um, you know uh, you know of coaching of, of, of people involved and, and, and facilities what to step away from, from that there was obviously uh, some was introduced to the to the SC I should say this season in the form of in stats with the statistics the analysis stuff away from it obviously like all clubs you did your own analysis before and all that, but with this influx of statistics and uh, analysis software in the league at the moment, has that changed the way we look at football at all now? Is it well, it's 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 certainly a positive from from our perspective, from a coaching pers perspective, that we have you know all the stats you know on your own players, on opposition players, video footage and the opposition players. It certainly is a great tool um, for us, uh, like I say, as coaches in terms of preparation, and but also identifying maybe um, you know some some opportunities with our own players to improve and uh, you, know, you know having the, 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 the link with Instat certainly has helped uh, our club it certainly is something that we um, could probably uh, as, as it evolves as we as we learn all the different aspects of, 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 of the, the software um, you know we can improve our processes around around opposition analysis our own uh, analysis you know maybe uh, talent ID player ID recruiting players looking at stats things like that so yeah it's a very useful tool um, you know obviously in performance and, and high performance uh, anal analysts you know is a major major part of, of, of sport and um, you know it's something that that obviously uh, we can improve upon and obviously this is a, a good starting point with, with Instat coming on board this year with, with all league clubs. You mentioned it towards the start of the interview but it's, I think it's important to bring it back up just um, the crowds here at Dayton. It's been a long process building that identity uh, like I said, the people's club and the crowds are really starting to block to Dayton. They've always been pretty consistent over the last few years but it, it, it seems as though Bohemians are yeah, they, despite any result, the, the crowd will keep coming. How important do you, do you see that marketing potential at the club and what the volunteers are doing? Yeah, well, it's a big Dublin club. It's in a great area. You know, it's... Um you know, Bowes is a is a is a football institution in this country, really. You know, and it's had its uh, hard times. You know, hopefully we're on the an upward curve again. You know, the the atmosphere and around the club is fantastic. We've got lots of uh, sellouts week on week, which is, which is great to see. There's a clear identity between the players and supporters. They come here. It's not like you said. It's not always about the result. They 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 feel like they're part of a community here. Um, there's lots of work going on in the community. We've got 23 grassroots uh, teams uh, at Bohemians, which which um, it's, it's it's fantastic, boys and girls. Um, you know, we've got uh, a football for all uh, team. We've got a um, we've got lots of stuff going on, and um, you know, in addition to the League of Ireland sections, you know, so. Um, it's a, it's a great club. It's really positive times at the moment. We want to try and hold up our end of the bargain by by producing good performances every week. And you know, if 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 we can win, if if people can enjoy themselves on a Friday night, they'll keep coming back to to Daily Mount. But um, it, it's it's more really, you know. Let's put the football stuff away for a second. It's what what the what the club are doing in the community. Like you said, with more than a club. You know their their reach in terms of, you know, schools, young people, you know, little programs that they're doing with them. You know, you know, we're seeing the traffic come through on a Friday night in in, in Daly Mount, which is fantastic. And um, you know, it, it's really powerful. It's really powerful when you see a club coming together, and um, you know, and 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 other clubs can take can take. Um, you know, take our lead on that, you know, and, and maybe maybe follow. You know, I know lots of other clubs are, um, are trying to do things, um, you know, to get more bums on seats, get more people uh, to drive traffic and drive people to your, to, to games. But I, I think um, our club have been reasonably successful in doing that. And obviously, the, the club needs yourself not only to back it, but, but the players as well. And sometimes at football clubs, that can be difficult to get the players to, to buy into the off-field stuff and get them to buy into the community programmes and... 
do that a little bit extra around the club. How, how important is it for you when you get a player into the building that you say that you this is part? It's a part of who we are, yeah, absolutely, and that ethos won't change. Um, you know, by and large, the, the, the players have been very supportive. Um, you know, it's it's infectious. You know, we, players come and play for the club. They get the buzz of playing on Friday night in front of you know big crowds. They're not used to that. Many of them, um, you know, but they, they we do have that buy-in. The ethos around the club is, is is good, and we want that to remain. You know, we want to remain a people's club where everybody is important and everybody is equal. Um, the, the players can identify with that and, and like I said, we try and instill the players with good values, good beliefs and um, you know, hopefully that translates late, in terms of performance but also how, how, how they are around the place. Um, you know, it's really important to us that, that you know, we deal with people and it's about the people that we have at the club, the people that are on the board, the people that are, that are volunteering. It's about the people in the backroom staff um, the players, you, you know how, how how we how we treat each other, how how we act around uh, around each other, and um, how we can pass on um, those values to the next group coming through, to the younger boys in our in our 17s, in our 19s, that they um, you know that they have good values when they come in, and they have good understanding of what this club's about. And uh, I think it's really important that you know uh, certainly from from my perspective that we we can lead in that regard, that we we. we um, players will, will follow you once uh, once um, once you g give them good instruction. Once you give them um, once you give them you know good leadership. You know the players will generally fall in behind you. And I think I think the people around this club have, have shown um, you know that that off the pitch they're doing things things really well. On the pitch things are starting to improve, and hopefully that's a culmination of things coming together, which is you know at the moment sees us sees us doing quite well. And also, also at the end of this month, you've got a, a fantastic event coming up, Big Bo's gig, um, some great acts coming in. It's really not just a, a celebration, but it's really important for uh, raising funds for crucial work going on behind the scenes at the club. Yeah, well, I think I think our uh, obviously the two big projects are the redevelopment of, of Daily Mount Park, which is really important to us all, and um, to get into a new fit for purpose uh, purpose stadium. Um, but also, uh, we want to we want to have a training base. We want to have a, a centre of excellence as such, where all our teams can train. Um, and we have the, the you know, like I said, uh, we have all our teams in the same building. You know, rubbing shoulders with the first team, rubbing shoulders with our 19s. Um, so we have that integration of the teams and and, and staff. And uh, that again, you know, that we have that aspiration from young boys looking up to the first team, um, and they can see how they conduct themselves, how they behave, how they train, how they prepare for for, for training or games or whatever it might be. But we you need to have a centre, and that's what we're trying to build towards. And um, you know, night a night like the Big Bows gig is really important in order for us to raise funds. So uh, we'd really appeal, obviously, to, to to all the Bohemian supporters out there to get behind this this event because it's really important for the future of the club. And finally, to, to bring it back to the football, you know, look, uh, we're going into a different phase of the season now. The FA Cup is still to come. You had fantastic success in, in that competition last year, obviously, into the semi final. What's, what's the aspirations at this point? Is, has it changed so that you keep giving the success so far? Yeah, well, I, I suppose uh, you know we've done we've done incredibly well to be where we are at the moment. That's as a result of the players who have been absolutely fantastic. Um, you know the performance levels have been have been really good. Um, we have to try and maintain that consistency now, and to to, to try and push on. Um, obviously, we may have uh, we have to evolve a little bit. We have to review things. You know, we're we're currently sit sit joint second in the table, um, four points off of the leaders with one one game in hand. So. Um, we want to continue. We're not getting carried away. We'll remain firmly grounded, and that's what we we have to try and do. Um, but who knows? Who knows? You know, we we'd love to to put some silverware, bring some silverware back to the Daily Mill Park because it's a long long time since that that has happened. Um, you know, European. Uh, you know, to compete in Europe will be fantastic. It'll be huge for the club in terms of. You know, getting European football back here. Um, you know, in terms of the resources that and the exposure that that brings. But you know, we 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 we're, we're very um, we understand where we're at at the moment, and you know, we can't get carried away. Um, we I'll give you the boring response, and it's it's game by game. It really is simple as that. You know, we got to focus on Cork City tomorrow night that we play, and that will be a big challenge in itself. Um, so. Um, nobody here is getting carried away. We're really enjoying where we are at the moment. We, we're enjoying 
winning some football matches, we're enjoying playing in front of big crowds and um, and hopefully that can continue. Hopefully we can achieve um, our ambitions this year, which will be, you know, at the end of the season, hopefully we can have something tangible to, 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 to show for our efforts this year. Well, thank you.